Hello and welcome to another Lotro Secrets video with me Valfellian. Today we're going to be exploring the pits of Moria the hard way. So for this deed we need to fall in six different pits in Moria um, which basically will involve us falling to our deaths so do be prepared for that. Um, so the first place we're going to jump is in the Great Delving of Moria. So I'll just zoom out to the full map of Moria. So Great Delving on the left here Zoom in, I'm just on the bridge that goes up to Durin's Way. So if you're coming out the Dolphin View, you can kind of come out the northeast and just go up across there. Um, so where we're on this big bridge with the uh, the dwarfen heads vomiting water. So we're just going to face east off this bridge and jump to our deaths. And as you can see, it's a very, very long way down. And like it just said there, if we retreat, I can have a look at what it said. It says, you have fallen into the great delving, into the depths of the great delving. If you get that text, which on, every character will only get the first time they fall into one of these pits, uh, it means you've advanced your deed, but you're never going to see the actual deed until you've completed it. Um, so if you just throw yourself into a hole and it doesn't say that, it means you've done it in the past already. Probably by accident, since it's Moria. Um, and there's not necessarily one place that each deed has to be done. If you fall in a deep hole in any region, that's one of the regions we need to go to, then it probably will advance your deed. So don't worry if you're throwing yourself in at the particular location that I'm saying and it's not advancing. You could have quite legitimately done it in a different hole somewhere else at a different time. But anyway, that's one done. So next up we're going to go to the Silvertine Loads. Okay, so jump number two then. We're now in the Silvertine Loads which is the area just south of the Great Delving. And this one's pretty easy because there's only one hole you can ever fall in, which is uh, actually a teller lie. I think there's a bit of a chasm over this side. But there's a big hole in the middle of the map here, which is where we're going to do our stuff. Uh, so just throw yourself in there, like so. And this one is very deep. It's just going to instant kill us. So it's going to say you have plummeted into the depths of the Silver Tyne Loads. And we're going to fall absolutely forever and go splat. There we go. So we can retreat from that one. So that's number two done. So the third one is going to be the pit at Jazagund. Okay, for our third jump then, we're now at Jazagund, which is north of the 21st Hall, which you can see there. So we're up in this part of the map, in the centre. So if I just zoom back in, we're pretty much at the, uh, the Jazagund Stable Master, who will not see because he's hidden behind a pillar, but there he is over there. So we're just going to come west from the Stable Master and throw ourselves into this bit over here. Whee! You have fallen to ruin in Durin's way. Um, but we landed in water, so we might have been fine. Retreat from that one. Uh, still not ending up with all my gear being utterly broken, which is good. Uh, so jump number four then, we need to go to the Redhorn Loads. So see you in a second. Okay, so jump number four then, we're now in the Red Horn Loads, and I'm just outside the Grand Stair instance. Uh, the easiest way to get here would be to come over to this side, to the Orc Watch Stable Master, and get a horse there from 21st Hall, and then just head east along the northern border of the map, and then over here there'll be loads of stairs, and just kind of climb your way up until you get up to here, which is just before that camp, and then we're just going to throw ourselves off of this ledge over here, and that should hopefully advance that. There we go. You have vanished into the depths of the Red Horn Loads. Splish. I'm not dead! I'm not dead! Um... I don't know how I'm going to get out of that. I'm going to have to port out. Um... Surprise, normally even a water death would kill you at that distance. Um... So yeah, so fifth one then, we need to go to Nudmelak. Okay, so jump number five then, we're now in Nudmelak. Which if I bring up on the map. So we are just here at this lava chasm at the southeast corner of the map. It's not a particularly easy place to get to. Uh, I would come from the Shadowed Refuge and the Foundations of Stone. So just get a horse there and then just kind of ride along the top border there into Nudmelek and just straight up the road. Uh, if you haven't discovered that though, you, you may have to come from the 21st Hall, go south and east into Nudmelek and then just come in the second hall over here and then just kind of go south and east, south and east, south and east until you get to this point. Um, or you could also come from the Red Horn Loads, just go across the top and come up along here, uh, which would take you 
out somewhere around here I think then you just have to kind of go up and over and then back down again but 10.1 uh, 100.7 is where I am on the map so we've got the endless stair over there which is where Gandalf and the Balrog fall from uh, the very bottom of the pit all the way up to the top of the mountain so we're gonna jump off there and we're gonna land in the lava sploosh there we go uh, so that said you have tumbled into the depths of Nudmelek, so there is one last one to go. Can you guess where it is? I saved the best till last. Okay, so we're at our final jumping position then, and ladies and gentlemen, and dwarves of a non-specified gender, welcome to the bridge of Khazad-dum. Where Gandalf fell to his doom, and we're going to jump him. Because we can pull that doom too. Now this is going to kill us. And it's not going to advance our quest. Why is it not going to advance our quest? Maybe we need to be on the other side of the bridge. Whee! Splish. Okay, so I'm now going to try jumping in at a different spot. I'm at the top of uh, Nudmelek, at the top of this chasm here. 5.5 uh, south, 99.8 west just where the road starts heading east. Um, we're going to jump off here and this should hopefully trigger it. Oh, bounce off the cliffs, bounce. Is it going to trigger it or not? Woo! Pizza Moria! A new title has been bestowed upon you. You may now be known as Fjord Babyberg Blind Leaper. Sometimes it may not give you that until you uh, revive at the uh, side here. So, deed completed. That gave us 5 turbine points, 30 marks, the title Blind Leaper, and the reputation, 500 reputation with the Iron Garrison Miners. So, uh, that one takes a bit more effort, but uh, it's another hidden deed for you guys to try it on your own.